next guest has appeared in films like Animal House in 1941, and he's certainly no stranger to TV. He's been appearing on primetime TV shows since he was 12. He's going to get a steady job anytime. Now. <laughs> this week, his new series, Tucker's Witch, premieres on CBS. Here's Tim Matheson. Howdy, Mike. Since 12. Since I was 12. I'm, I'm old. I'm 34 years old. Oh, my I've been dear. doing it for 22 oh, years. Wait a minute. Get out of here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Are you from an acting family? Well, why do I think that, uh, that uh, you have brothers in this business? No. Uh, I'm the only one in my family that really does this. I, uh, I must have been compulsive as a kid. I used to write plays when I was eight years old, make my parents watch them. Precocious is another word. Too. Yeah, noisy, aggressive, loud, you know, all those things. And uh, But I just love doing it. And, but my mom supported it, uh, what, whatever I wanted to do, if I was baseball. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's great fun. You played high school students for years, and then finally in 19, in Animal House, you graduated. Got into college. college. You got yeah. into college, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you glad to finally be playing mature roles? Uh, it's better. Yeah. It's big. I got tired, I guess, in my uh, mid twenties. You know, asking my uh, the dad for the car keys. You know, and it was a little bit old. I was twenty nine years old. I did a picture called uh, Almost Summer at Universal, and I played a high school senior. I thought this is a little silly. This <laughs> is funny. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was fun, but it was like it's time to go. It's not bad to look young, though, Tim. It's always fun. And it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad to be young. Oh, yeah. I say. <laughs> but that's all up here. I think yeah. it's just. It really is. It's all your attitude about the youth. I think. I find that, uh, especially in show business, there's so many disappointments and there's so many, oh. so much anxiety. But if if you have the right attitude and and you approach it properly, you can stay young forever. And it's humor, I think. Really. Sure. And this business, I think, keeps you young. It does. I don't know why, but it keeps you young. I swear. Well, it's well, we're around so many talented people with such a life energy, and most of us are doing what we truly want to do. And everybody it, seems really. to be having a good time at it, which is important. Yeah, well, if you can't, I figure if you can't have fun doing this, I mean, what are you going to do? That's right. That's <laughs> Where are you right. going to find it's it? True. It's Tell true. Tell me about Tucker's Witch. You're Tucker's serious. Witch. Yes. Uh, That's it, an unusual title. Yeah. Well, it, it relates to, I play a guy named Rick Tucker, who is married to uh, a lady named Amanda, who is a witch who is just beginning to get her powers under control. And we're detectives, and we take cases. It's sort of a what are these powers she's getting? Are they real? Is it real witchcraft? Yeah, she has telekinetic powers. She can make objects move, and Jeez, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> it would be nice to do that. Wouldn't that be great to be at a party and have something just a little, too, a few too many, and just make it something move? You know, just have that power. Just have them reach for a drink and have it just move slightly, yeah, move just away. a little bit. Just, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, that'd be great. Or somebody park in your space mm. and just mm. gently move it, you know, without touching it. Just move the car. Well, now you got two ideas for two segments of the. Uh, there you go. Go back and talk to the writer. Exactly. Then. You're going to get parking, residual parking, parking space. <laughs> That's Give fun. me credit for that. We're going to play a clip from Tucker's Witch. Do we uh, have yes. to talk about this? Well, I can Tim? set it up. What this is yeah, is sort ahead. of a finale of uh, an episode called The Toltec Death Mask where we are investigating a, a stolen mask from uh, an archaeological dig. And my wife is trapped in a uh, crypt. I'm looking for her and trying to find her, and a guy is shooting at me, and it's... That, that's about as much God, as... God, you did that so well. We're not even going to have to play the clip. <laughs> no, no, let's play. It's a Wednesday night, 10 o'clock, CBS. That's See? right. Uh, Tucker's well, Witch, starring Tim Matheson. Roll it, please, Tim. fun. Well, hopefully it'll be fun. We have a good time doing it. It's, uh, it, I would say, comedy adventure with a little magic, a little romance thrown in, and it's, uh... I saw you on, on cable, on, on home box office, I think you do. Oh, you were in yeah. Bus Stop with That's Margo right. You, you pick some nice leading ladies to work with. You don't fool around, do you? <laughs> Margo Kidder, Kate She's Jackson, you got great. something coming out shortly with her? Yes, I did a movie for television with Kate Jackson called, uh, Change of Heart. Which is wonderful. I mean, it's it's great to have to go to work in the morning and you know, like jump into bed with these lovely ladies. <laughs> How bad can it be? I've often wondered about that. There are times in pictures when you actually walk in, and if they shoot out of sequence, as Tim knows, they might have an intimate love scene before you first scene. Now yeah. you have you just said hello to this lady, and all of a sudden you're in there saying, and really, boy, well, with like 80 people watching too. Yeah. Yeah, what's his technique like? Well, you know, it's, <laughs> what's going on here? You're on the cover of uh, Playgirl, I'm told. Yeah. You didn't pose for one of those centerfolds. No. <laughs> no. I'll leave that to Jaeger. I'll let Steve Jaeger do that. <laughs> <laughs> I kidded Steve about that. And, and 
Dan Pastorini are kidding about that. I don't know how. That that must be interesting. Well, and they have a girl doing the photographs, don't they? I would. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would think so. It could be a very interesting uh, yeah. situation, uh, shooting session. <laughs> I don't know. I could. I don't think I could do that. I, it's well. Why were you on the cover? Well, Margot and I did. She was doing an interview inside. And it was sort of to promote the inside stop. the magazine. Yes, inside the magazine. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, it's uncomfortable in there too. Yeah. Oh, it's cramped in it. Boy, please <laughs> open them up quick. Pages, you know, yeah. <laughs> let her breathe. Um, so we did that to promote Bus Stop, which uh, was actually her first play. And uh, it was she had never done a stage scary. play before. No, I think she'd done something in high school. It wasn't your first for sure. No, I've done a lot of theater, and uh, I'm finally getting the hang of it. I mean, it's it's terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying. <laughs> You're finally getting it. I've seen your work, and you are very good. Oh, thank you. Very 22 good. years in the business. Yeah. That's wonderful. That nice? That's fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And aren't you pr pleased that I didn't ask you that stale question about, did you miss much of your childhood because of this early career? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> we won't bother to answer that. Tim has to leave us, but uh, Gene, can you stay? My pleasure. Where are you going, Tim? Why can't you stay? i got to go back to work in Loop, uh, re-record sound for some episodes. Now, now, tell people what that that is fascinating looping in pictures what we what you do is you see nerve wracking too it is it's tricky because you have to uh, fit the words in your uh, to the the action on the screen you have to re-record for some reason the sound was not good and in, get in it absolutely take. in sync with what you're doing with the lip mm -hmm. movement and it's it's takes a long time and they usually have to get you after you finish shooting so I'm off now so they're trying to grab it for a show that they dub with music tracks uh -huh. and sound effects and everything like in two okay. days or tomorrow. Tim, thank you. Thank you, thank you very good much. Good luck with Tucker's Thanks Rich. a lot. Wednesdays, 10 p.m. CBS. Right. Come back and see us again. When, I will. When the air conditioning is working. <laughs> and, uh, and we're coming right back with Sandy Kenyon and the news of